Hello, hello, what's going on there, internet? All right, I'm gonna try and do this in a very straightforward fashion. I don't know what it is about these sabers that uh, I just, I get so rambling about it. Maybe it's because they're so simple. Um, all right, but I'm gonna try and get through it. Uh, hopefully, you know, hopefully by the end of it, you'll think, oh yeah, you know what, I like this channel. Maybe I'll subscribe, maybe I'll like the video. <laughs> but, uh, you know, well, you don't have to do that now. Let's, uh, you know, let's keep you on probation for that, you know. Um, I want to make sure you're getting your subscription value. <laughs> all right, uh, forget all of that. Um, let's get into this. So I picked these up not so long ago uh, from a seller on AliExpress called Light Blade Saber. Um, I ordered it. I don't remember what the day was, but you know, I ordered it up. They shipped it out almost right away. I think it was on a Friday or something like that. But they got it, you know, sent out by uh, the next day. Um, Maybe it was a Thursday. I don't even know. But it was sent out, you know, next day or day after. And then, you know, once it was in DHL's hands, it was, you know, less than a week. I mean, it, it was a week. It was six days, seven days, eight days, um, you know. But, yeah, certainly more than adequate and satisfied with the uh, shipping for, you know, ordering these items out of China. Um, all right, so pretty straightforward design here this is a design or you know like a series that i had seen um on from another seller called punk saber um i don't know if it was like a series that was exclusive to them i kind of think that it might have been because these have like uh you know a, an obvious steampunk aesthetic so um yeah, I, 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 I kind of think maybe it was something that was exclusive to them and, you know, maybe they just can't keep it exclusive anymore. I don't know. But these prices from this other seller seem to be better, so I wanted to give them a shot because, you know, they uh, kind of intrigued me. I went for the simpler of the uh, options that are available. They actually have, you know, uh, three other ones that I think carry the style a little bit more, but I wanted to use this as a double-bladed saber, so uh, simpler is better. Um, for me because you know, I don't want my fingers hitting stuff as I'm spinning these around um, You know basically I just you know simpler is better um, Good grip and that's what I got with this. I mean, it's it's got this black coating on it um, It's pretty grippy, you know, I, it feels pretty um, Secure in the hand. It's got these grip section uh, One thing I do have to say is between these two this one seems to line up with the grip sections on the side buttons here uh, This one does not um, You know so it's a, it's there, but for what I'm using it for, it really doesn't stand out all that much. And uh, I was probably trying to, if I use this as like a, a double, I was probably looking to, well, now I'm looking to, you know, hopefully get an, a different style handle on here for that, uh, just when I'm doing that. Um, the section up here, uh, it's pretty good. I, I, you know, I like the style of it. I love, um, you know, window emitters. This sort of like... This also sort of takes a little bit after the newer uh, Ventress Sabres that has like the holes uh, up around here and also, you know, these rings. Uh, and also this too. So it is very similar. Um, you know, I just really like the design. Um, you know, I definitely want to get that replica hilt eventually because I, I really like the design on that one. Um, but this is pretty similar to that. It feels pretty good. Uh, the machining here, there's nothing sharp. You know, it feels really comfortable. Um, there's nothing, you know, there are no hot spots, nothing that's going to bother you while you're, um, you know, out spinning it. These ridges here, uh, feel like you, they give you a little bit of, you know, grip and control. So, um, you know, that's pretty good. Uh, one thing that is kind of unique to this one is these retention screws. Uh, they are a bit smaller than your traditional ones that are like an M3 size. Uh, I believe these would probably be an M2 in that case. Um, it doesn't come with a smaller tool. I do have a smaller tool for it, you know, which is fine. Um, so it's just something to keep in mind, but they, you know, this has held the blades in very well. Um, just two on this one side. So, I mean, I'm not going to complain about its function as long as I tighten them down and that blade doesn't move. Uh, that's, that's my biggest concern. Um, you know, unless they were using some security screw or something like that, that you're just not going to you know, nobody's going to have, and there's no point really trying to complain about that. It was just different, you know. Um, so everything about it, you know, from the outside is pretty much, uh, you know, I'm happy with. Um, get on to the inside, see what, you know, uh, is going on in there. You can probably tell by from the buttons that these are going to be, you know, Xeno or XRGB electronics, and I went with the XRGB because 
you know, that's just what's working for me right now. Um, I want I want to try and experiment with some blade lengths and you know cutting down base load blades to see what feels good. Um, you know, obviously that's way more of a to do than pixel blades. Um, you know, and way more way less cost. So one of the issues that I have with this is the threading is not your standard LGT threading. Um, so I don't know if that's something to do with this being an exclusive design or you know different. Um, I will, if I order anything from the future, I'll probably want to ask them about that and just say, hey, you know, what's going on? Um, normally, that'd be like a really big problem for me. Like if I was just ordering this as an individual saber, I, I probably would take it back. Um, but since this is, you know, something that I'm using as a double saber primarily or double bladed, uh, it doesn't really bother me as much since it's mostly going to be, you know, kept to itself. Um, but yeah, it, it does bum me out that this doesn't work with all the other parts that I have, um, you know. And if if I tried to, if if I were to give it a positive uh, kind of spin, I would say these threaded sections seem to be a bit longer than you know what I traditionally see on LGT parts and LGT sabers. So it does actually feel, I'd say, a little more I don't know uh, secure uh, and you know just sturdy. Uh, I don't know. I just feel I have a bit more confidence about uh, that, you know. So it's not without its 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 upsides. Um, and it is. This is a pretty decent, you know, uh, couple here. It's got an interesting design. Looks cool when it's uh, you know set together, and it's got adequate sound venting. Um, you know, when you use this, as you're you're always covering that. It's it's kind of just the way it goes. Um, but this works well enough. Uh, so that's, yeah, that's definitely kind of a bummer. And then also just the, the, the handles themselves are actually shorter than many other, you know, than many other handle parts. So the core sticks out here and while it is actually pretty decent resonance going on here, I mean, if you think of, you know, like there's about an inch there. So yeah, I mean, it's, it's, it works for you know what it's meant to be but you know if you have any other designs like you know putting these speakers in there i'm not going to be able to do it because the whole area that i would need this speaker i would need this to kind of be down in there and that's just not you know that's just not going to happen uh but that's okay you know i have i have ideas for getting different handles i think i know handles that'll fit on this and you know i'll give it a shot and I actually just found the style that I was thinking about doing before when I thought this was LGT, but I, I think I found it in the, this threaded size. So that'll be cool if that turns out to be the case. Um, so, and I'm not going to go over the XRGB, uh, you know, electronics or, you know, any of the Xeno electronics. There's plenty of videos out there on that, um, you know. But for me, I, I just been getting by with the XRGB electronics because, I mean, I throw these around a lot. I swing them around a lot. And, you know, I love the Profi. I love the Pixel. Um, you know, this just feels, I don't know. I, I guess I have a little bit less anxiety about the stuff that I do uh, when I'm doing it with a less expensive uh, saber with a less expensive blade uh, that, you know, won't cost me an arm and a leg to, uh, arm and a leg to replace. Um, so... I don't know. It's a uh, it's a hobby. <laughs> um, yeah, so I think that's all I got. I don't really think I have anything else to say about it. These two cost me uh, eighty five each. Obviously, when you show you know on AliExpress, it's usually a little bit less here and there. Um, so I think it came to about one sixty five on the you know on the money um, before taxes. So, and it was for free shipping and got it in less than a week. And I think they even have some, you know, uh, better deals. This was the less expensive of that series that I'm talking about, the steampunk one. Um, they even had some that were a little bit less than this. It's a little more plain, I'd say, probably a little more flow oriented uh, towards people that, you know, uh, are fine with the generic design. They just want something that looks like it'll be comfortable to, like, toss around. Um, I might, you know, go for a, a set of that down the line because it looked pretty interesting to me. Um, I would want to ask them about the threading on those because those were also a series that I'd seen featured on that Punk Saber website. So, you know, maybe it was something that they had requested a uh, different size threading. Uh, I don't really know why they do that, but, you know, um, 
not something I would ever, you know, suggest. Uh, it's definitely better to, I would say, work with a standard. Um, but I mean, at that price, I mean, if 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 120 bucks for just like a baselit uh, double sided staff with like you know cool sound and stuff like that, um, like if if I'm considering it from the perspective of like just having it as like a flow set man those are that's that's a pretty killer deal um you know but if you're obviously if you're looking for something that's more of like uh looks like the a prop and you know says star wars that probably wouldn't be your go but it looks like they have pretty decent prices all around and their replicas and other stuff too so uh worth giving a look at i mean i'm i'm seeing some of the prices on there look pretty good i just noticed that they don't offer the profis which kind of seems a little bit of a bummer um so maybe i'll have to ask them about that because you know until until they get the uh blade effects going for xeno 3 um profi is still going to be my preference but it could be really cool once they you know once we see what they get going and their customizable blade effects because um especially for me for the double bladed staffs because you know like i would probably, you know, revel in that a little bit more because I'd probably want to do blade styles that were a little bit more dramatic apart from, you know, what you even see from uh, profi stuff. And when I was doing the SNV4, uh, a lot of those blade styles seemed like they were pretty more, you know, um, I don't know, apt for that. But anyways, um, yeah, I'm just, I'm not going to keep going about that. I'm just going to call it here, um, you know, uh, not make it long a ridiculously long video um you know i don't think there's anything else to to say about that i think i covered everything that i wanted to get through um pretty good all the way around i got the fact that the battery doesn't get out um or i hope i did yeah i think i did but yeah i mean those are the these are the only negative sides that i can think of is just that threading and the fact that the batteries can't you know um be so easily replaced but is what it is uh it's just unfortunate that you know that's always going to be a case with using these emitters <laughs> you know no matter what i replace down here it, it's always going to have that um so i would just say you know in future for anything just make it like you know so like i i just i guess i wish the lightsaber community would just like kind of or not the community but the manufacturers would sort of embrace some philosophies about like you know things that they should never do like always design sabers so that the, the batteries can come out or always design them so that you know the handle length is never going to be like this or you know um it'd be cool but you know or always design them so that you can actually hear them that'd be a great one because you know i keep seeing new designs that have these small like Oh, there's so many sins going on. But anyways, I, I, I digress. I'll just leave it. I'll uh, I'll let you guys, you know, get out of this video with your uh, sanity intact. And uh, hopefully I'll see you around for the next one. I appreciate you all watching. And uh, yeah, have a great day.